All right. So here we have a certain study that happened on a single day. City X conducted this study, and this was to read the accumulation patterns in a certain garage. Now this has a total of 120 parking spaces, so that's the total number of vehicles that it can accommodate. But the graph here below actually summarizes the true numbers. It's not like it really touched capacity at all times. So we'll see what really happened here. It tells us that the graph summarizes the cumulative arrivals. total arrivals which is the number of automobiles that had arrived at the garage then cumulative departures which is the number of automobiles that had departed the garage and then finally accumulation which is the number of automobiles occupying the garage at 1 hour intervals from 5 am to 7 pm so let me let me try to read all of these values here i do see this starting at 5 am and i also see this ending at 7 pm on the x axis where time is represented that means at 5 am when i see this is when i checked at 5 am i checked and i found that in the previous 1 hour a total of these many cars had arrived these many cars had left and then these many cars only had accumulated all of them are at zero really so maybe nothing happened from 4 to 5 am we'll get better data when we take something else where we have these values so see how cumulative arrivals they're given by this square symbol just notice the symbol cumulative departures by the circle and accumulation by this triangle so if i try to read them all at say 12 noon then what are the values i have this circle is here in the middle at 750 which means total departures that happened when you checked at 12 in the previous hour total departures that happened were 750 what is the number of cars or vehicles that arrived in the first place the automobiles that arrived you see this is at 2000 now that you know how to read all three values here you can read it for any hour here now that we've completely understood every bit of information given including how to read the chart let's see what's asked If you found the analysis of this data set helpful then hit that like button so that other GMAT aspirants can also learn from it and to stay tuned with such content hit the subscribe button below Now to take your learning to the next level we have put together a free trial in which you can experience content in all the sections tested on GMAT Focus edition For example you can build your CR pre-thinking skills you can learn how to approach statistics questions in graphics interpretation as part of di you can learn everything about linear inequalities as tested on the gmat focus edition and a lot of other content the link for this is in the description now let's get back to the question at hand okay let's read it says each of the following options all three of these here describes a condition that occurred at least once between 5 am and 7 pm which is the total duration we're seeing so all of these conditions occurred at least once one or more than once on the day of the study so it's the same day we're talking about now for each option select before 1 pm which is this option here select before 1 pm if the first such occurrence was before 1 pm so we already know every occurrence here all of these choices here they did occur at least once so greater than equal to 1 i'm sure of now we are saying that the first time that this occurred if that happened before 1 pm then you select this otherwise you simply select 1 pm or later okay so occurrence is guaranteed i just have to see when that occurrence happened so i will do these one by one let's just look at the first statement in isolation We are talking about the first occurrence, the first time when cumulative arrivals were greater than accumulation. You know, you have a separate line chart for arrivals; it's with the squares, I remember, and you also have a separate line chart for accumulation, which is the triangles. Now, think about it: if both of them are represented on a single graph, where I'm reading the values on this y-axis, where is it that I will say one value is greater than another? Obviously, I will say that when on this graph the arrival line. chart is higher than the accumulation line chart i simply have to see whether the first time this happened that arrival went above accumulation did that happen before 1 pm or after 1 pm remember we don't care about the entire duration before or after 1 pm to have this condition it's only about the first occurrence so i'll go and now see the line charts for these two Okay perfect here we are now 1 pm or before i want to see that so let me see where 1 pm is first of all having this vertical line will really make it easy to divide my entire time duration into these two parts now look at the period before 1 pm and see if this ever happened the arrival line chart being higher so arrival again squares and accumulation the 
triangles oh that's almost in all of the places here i don't want to go too deep into this i don't even need to they seem to be very close and yes squares still seem to be higher but this is where i can read it the most clearly i surely do have arrivals above accumulation in this case now i don't care how many hours did this happen for for one hour or two hour my interest is only in whether the first occurrence is on the left of 1 pm and since i have so many occurrences on the left obviously the first occurrence also did occur on the left side and so i come back here and i will mark before 1 pm for this choice that's it now let's look at the second choice this one says cumulative arrivals were greater than two times cumulative departures so if i translate this into simple you know a mathematical looking statement arrivals were greater than two times departures so i will have to see the first time this happened because this is guaranteed to have happened i just want to see if the first time this happened was before 1 pm or not so i'll try to find an occurrence like this on the left side now this time it's not as straightforward as the previous statement was where you just had to see one thing above another this time you also care about what these values are so i'll see let's take this to the graph and try to read perfect here we are so arrivals line again the squares let me just highlight it this way and it is here also but they're so very close and i will also focus on the departures line which is with the circles so it's this one i have to see if at all during this duration on the left side of 1 pm it ever happens that arrivals are even more than two times departure so let me take the place where departure is really low that's where i have the most chance but it can happen other places also so suppose i take this at 8 am now if i read this value on the y axis this is here really low say 100 so this is 100 for departures now if i try to read for the same time i try to read this square value here which is your arrivals this is slightly above 1000 almost as high as this 100 was so this seems to be very close to 1100 now when you see 100 and 1100 obviously this is more than twice now here i read values but you could very well have seen that if 100 on this line chart on this graph is so so small then being more than two times of this simply meant being more than 200 and something which is here is way above 200 and i could very easily see that there is one such occurrence happening before 1 pm which means even now the first such occurrence of this condition also was before 1 and so i will mark before 1 for this one at this point let me ask you this could you have arrived at the approach of solving this question with this level of clarity had you not spent the effort in thoroughly understanding the information presented such is the power of the process of owning the data set and because this skill may not come naturally to many of you we have created a course architecture that ensures that we teach you this skill through every guided quiz in the egmat di course and we reinforce the same in every practice quiz thus throughout the di course through around 500 questions you will learn such process skills so that you can also comfortably use the owning the data set approach let's now get back to the solution at hand now finally let's look at the third condition now this one says cumulative departures were greater than accumulations very similar to how the first condition was but something else now is greater than something else again though you still have to understand greater means you just want to see whether before 1 pm there was any instant where the departure line was above the accumulation line if you find that at all before 1 pm then the answer for this one will be before 1 otherwise it will be 1 pm or later so you are trying to find the first such occurrence where departure is really above accumulation so let's go and try to find this out and here we are so let's first identify our lines the departure line is these with the circles and the accumulation line is here with the triangles i wanted to see what i wanted the departure line to be above the accumulation line is that happening anywhere before 1 pm is the yellow line ever above the blue line no it's not it seems to be very very close here but when you zoom into this part also you will still see how the dotted part let me clear this the dotted line which is for departures is always the lowest line so never does departure line go above the accumulation line here at least before 1 pm it does happen later though because they've said all of these conditions happen so you will see that happening here after 1 this is the first time you see where the departure line chart has come above the accumulation line chart so this thing does not happen before 1 pm and so for this one we mark 1 pm or later as our answer and that's it let's summarize everything we did 
So we began by understanding everything that was given to us. What were these three line charts? How to understand them? How were they connected with each other? Is something we found out when we took an example. This is where we completely owned, owned the data set. Now, after we owned the data set, it came time for us to evaluate these three statements. The goal was to see each of these conditions one by one, which definitely happened, and to see whether the first time they happened was before 1 p.m. or after. So translation was required to understand what's happening here. Then when we went into these statements one by one, we always first decided our approach. We determined what is it that we were going to do when we get to the data. And this approach then helped us get to the answer really quickly after we got to the graph. Otherwise, so much data could easily overwhelm you. So always be organized in what you need and go find just that.